Hello, everybody. Welcome to the ECU Podcast, an intern survival guide, where we teach you how to survive in Paris and during an internship at an indie festival. We have new hosts every week with different topics each time, ranging from music, fashion, tourism, but above all, independent cinema. We hope you like today's episode. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next edition of ECU's Intern Survival Guide. Warning, this podcast occasionally contains strong language, which may be unsuitable for children, unusual humor, which may be unsuitable for adults, and lots of LGBTQ plus jokes, which may be unsuitable for assholes. Hi guys, welcome to this week's podcast. My name is Reagan. I'm in the graphic design department. And I'm Marjalena. I'm from the social media department. And this week we are going to be talking about the three steps to manifest your dream life. That's it. Let's go. So, Reagan, what is the first step? So the first step, um, what I like to do is I just like to think of things, goals I have for myself yeah. or places I want to go. Just think of my dream life, mm -hmm. dream job, whatever I want in life. Even if it feels unobtainable, I decide on those things, what I feel like I want in my life. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, what's the next step after you choose the things that you want? The things that you want. So the next step is that you're going to write everything down. You're going to write about them, to speak about them. You're going to think about them every day. Just um, you're going to have a paper and then write everything, everything. One, I want this, I want this, I want this. But don't, not only I want this, that's the very important uh, situation. You have to think that you already have it. Like, I am a lawyer. I, I have this, I have this house, this big house. I have met the love of my life. I've already done it. So you have a journey and um, a journal <laughs> and you're going to write everything in it every day and you can do also a perfect day in my life and just read about write about um, today I wake up and uh, had my my walk and just worked out and have the best my um, the best the brunch ever and just everything that you want so maybe it's not real but that doesn't mean that it's not going to be ever real you ha you create your own reality so third step well i wanted to go <laughs> back to the, yeah, the second step because um like for me i'm a very visual learner mm -hmm. so either like writing it down on paper and visually seeing those words written out yeah. but also i love to look at pictures and that's why a lot of people make vision boards mm -hmm. so for me i'll actually um make those goals so go back to step number one make those goals decide what i want and then i'll look up pictures of it yeah. and i'll make a vision board and it's really important to put this vision board somewhere where you'll be looking at it every day because that's going to help you um, see it and kind of just envision it as your life and manifest it into your everyday life. Mm -hmm. And so I'll put it on my screensaver, on my phone, and on my desktop for my laptop so that I'm looking at it every day. Yeah. And yeah, that's really worked for me, but um, there's a lot of different things you can do, like you said about music do you yeah, want to talk course, about that of course you can manifest everything that you want uh, listening to songs about manifestation like ariana grande had uh, an album whole uh, with songs manifesting everything like how she dresses what um, what music does she listen everything everything and uh, you can you can uh, listen to this music and the best thing that you can do is uh, that you can have affirmations so you have specific specific affirmations that you're going to repeat to yourself every day every morning that you wake up you're going to look in the mirror and say I'm this I'm the bravest I'm the most beautiful girl I'm everything everything that I want to be I am that and you're going to repeat it at your sleep too <laughs> I mean before you sleep of course mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, this is going to create your whole reality your whole reality is going to change because of this because uh, you repeat them and you can feel them you can feel more confident like yeah I am I am 
creative. I am mm -hmm. smart. I am everything that I wanted to be. I am. Right. I already am. And as you start feeling those feelings, that's like it puts you on the same frequency as yeah. that. So like say you want to be really wealthy and you mm -hmm. want to have a lot of money. You might be thinking like, oh, you can't just manifest that but you can because when you just tell yourself you already have enough of money course. you're already rich you're putting yourself on the same frequency as people who who are of course who are rich like that so then you start attracting the same opportunities and yeah. things like that and that's something really important too you're not just going to receive like going with the example of money mm -hmm. when you just like decide you want to manifest money and start putting in the work money isn't just gonna like show up on your doorstep a lot of times it comes in opportunities to make more money so for example there was this one week where I was like I'd really like to just have enough money you know mm -hmm. maybe have a little extra find new opportunities to get more income into my life and then some co-workers were asking me to pick up their shifts and things like that mm -hmm. and and I got like extra job offers and little mm -hmm. things for graphic design so mm -hmm. that kind of helped me manifest more money into my life that week but if you're like no I don't I would rather stay home and have my day off then yeah. you're just kind of disregarding that opportunity to manifest more money into your life like you wanted so make sure you're paying attention to the opportunities that come your way and don't be lazy make sure you you really take action exactly yeah exactly you have to take all the opportunities because new doors just open every day every mm -hmm. day and you have to say yes to them everybody's saying yes to that to that to that because all of this that you want is going to come to you because that's what that's why you want them in the first mm -hmm. place because the universe has said to, th to you that you already have it so you can ha you can just decide it, decide that you want them, decide that you have them, and they will come. Everything will come to your way. Yes. <laughs> All right. So we just went over step number one and two. So number one is just deciding what you want. Number two is actually taking action and trying to manifest those things into your life through whatever sort of outlet suits you. Mm -hmm. And now the third one. What is the third one, Marielena? <laughs> The third one, uh, so the third one is going to be the step that you have believe, belief that everything is coming to your way and um, everything will. I think you're going to be confident and just receive everything. Yeah, the kind of like live your life as if you already have them and yeah. not only just that but like feeling gratitude like you already have yeah the things and like say think like give your gratitude to the universe even if you don't have it yet exactly. even if it's still on its way just say you know i'm so grateful to receive this thank you so much mm -hmm. and just living your life with more gratitude and confidence and whatever else you want to manifest into your life everybody um should make their journal journal every night and say i'm grateful for these 10 things and just write them for my health, for my my income, my friends, my family, my love, everything, mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Do you? So, do you have any like examples of what you've manifested in your life? life? Yeah. <laughs> any like fun examples? I think so. I've manifested love a lot of times. Love? Yeah. Oh my god. Like, gosh. whenever I want to meet somebody, I just say to myself that I'm so loved. I'm so mm -hmm. yeah. I'm, and everybody is just treating me so well <laughs> these days. Oh, good. Yeah, whenever, wherever situation, like not only the love of my life, like mm -hmm. friendships, family, everything. Oh, it's that's all so good. Connected. Yeah. Yeah. Have um, you manifested anything? <laughs> yes, I've manifested so much. Like it's just become of my like daily routine. Yeah. I really like believe in myself as a manifester. So I. I love to just utilize that in my daily life. I think the main thing I've been manifesting is just like the places I've gone and the opportunities mm -hmm. I've had to um, go different places. You know, we're in Paris, which yeah, is we are. really exciting and fun. But I think I also manifested just 
I went to school in Hawaii, mm -hmm. which was really cool and kind of random. So yeah. I've been able to manifest fun adventures and places that I've always put on my bucket list. You're going to Greece um, this yeah. weekend? Oh yes, <laughs> I'm going to Greece and Spain this week. So yeah, definitely just manifesting opportunities that open new doors. But also a really cool one is um, I saw this one job on... Um, on LinkedIn it was a few months ago but I was it was a really popular company and I really wanted to work for them and I was like it said like over 600 people have applied and I was like there's just no way I could you know yeah be noticed but I applied and I just put it I put a picture of their logo on my vision board yeah. and I started reaching out to um, people that worked for that company and I was able to get two interviews with that company that's so great I know I didn't <laughs> get the job but you know it was still really cool to have that opportunity to interview for the job of out of so many applicants of and just see that myself being able to manifest that and knowing that it, it wasn't probably the right path for me because I got to come here instead yeah which is probably just like opening the right doors, the right path for me. But it showed me that, you know, the universe will let me have whatever opportunity I want. Like I can pursue that job, but if it's not right, it's not going to work out. And that doesn't mean I'm bad at manifesting. Mm -hmm. It just means, you know, I'm going to manifest something completely different. Of That's m better for me at this time. It just means that it wasn't your path this mm -hmm. timing. Yeah, because it's going to be another time or it's going to be another opportunity. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean that it wasn't it wasn't meant to be that. It's just yeah. that. Yeah, definitely. And it was meant to be Paris. <laughs> it was here. meant to be Paris. I know. And now <laughs> I'm here and I get to, you know, travel and meet fun friends. I've always said that I wanted to manifest having friends from all over the world yeah and just sitting in our office like people <laughs> are from all over the world so it's so much fun and you know just like learning a completely new experience it's been it's definitely like the lesson I probably needed to learn right now and you know like that other job that I didn't get maybe down the road I'll end up working there who knows but this is like where I need to be to learn the lessons that I need for the future so I yeah I believe that too mm -hmm. yeah and you you can also like as a tip right now I'm saying this mm -hmm. you can also have an alter ego mm, yeah. like you can create some version of yourself which is the best future self yes and um, just say that oh in this stressful situation in this contest in this mm -hmm. whatever it is I'm going to ask this self of mine mm -hmm. and then when you do it a lot of times um, many times then you're going to see that this person this alter ego mm -hmm. and you are the same person yeah so you're going to feel so much at ease like yeah I thought that I was here but it was me mm -hmm. <laughs> like I, I was that person and then you just become it yeah you just become became your best self yeah you manifested it like that yes i always say like every day is practice to be your higher self or your future self that you want to be so every day every opportunity is a chance for you to practice mm -hmm. being that person so you know it's important to be very present especially in like situations that like evoke negative yeah. emotions where you're angry or stressed or frustrated it's important just to like be very present with that mm -hmm. and recognize what you would want how you would want to handle that situation as like a future or older you and then yeah. you're able to like take that take away the impulse impulsive reaction mm -hmm. and just you know react how you would want to react you know That's as a yeah as a smarter older person of and then course. you realize you're just becoming that person and making those same decisions and you're becoming that person already it's just wonderful mm -hmm. a wonderful experience all of this yeah like you enjoy the journey mm -hmm. and you become whatever you you'd like to become. yes that's so amazing and yeah. you can use i also wanted to say that for um what's the word i can't remember ever ever <laughs> Vision, vision boards, vision board. yeah. yeah. For vision boards, you can use Pinterest. 
Yes. That's, that's what I'm using. I yeah. make um, so many folders and mm -hmm. creating uh, all these, uh, um, what is it called? Folders. Yeah, folders. 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 Just folders. Uh, with pictures of <coughs> what animal I want, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what, uh, what house I want, what it's going to be mm. like. I have all these pictures, places, like you said, places that okay. I want to meet. I, I want to travel. Travel too. Yeah. Um, and it's so perfect. Yeah. What okay. uh, what uh, app do you use? I actually also use Pinterest yeah. just to find the photos. And I do something similar. I'll make a little folder, mm -hmm. but I will do it for um, the period of time, yeah. not just like like the specific house or animal I want. I'll, I'll do it for like. I would do it every semester of school, so every three months, every, you yeah. know, six months, every few months I'll make a new one for what I want to accomplish in the next couple of months. Mm -hmm. And perfect. then I'll take the pictures off of that and I'll recreate it in Illustrator because I'm a graphic designer, so I like to put my own, like, touch on it and of put course. some fun colors in there yeah. and make it look really aesthetically appealing aesthetically pleasing mm -hmm. and that makes it really fun to you know open my computer every day and just see that and yeah. it makes me happy to look at and <laughs> that means it's working that means it's helping me manifest those things so it's just a step closer yeah to your goals just a step closer um yeah. but yeah something that helped me when I started getting into like the law of attraction and manifestation mm -hmm. was reading books about it and oh. listening to podcasts about it um they're so helpful yeah so if that's something you're more interested in or even like skeptical of to learn I'd, more yeah learn more about it because why wouldn't you want to have like more <laughs> power everything in your that life? you wanted yeah, yeah why wouldn't you want to have everything you ever wanted <laughs> and it's really like we are so powerful like we can attract anything into our lives um, a book that I read, I don't remember the author it's right okay. now, you but it's, it, it's just called The Secret. It's like kind of the original yeah. Law of Attraction book. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of it? I've heard of it, yeah, okay. of course. <laughs> I haven't read it yet, but oh I've heard gosh. of it. Oh my gosh, I'll it's lend it to you. Yeah? It's so good. It is? Yeah, it's super Perfect. quick read. You can read it in like one day, okay. which I think I did. It's just, it has some fun, like, stories of people yeah. manifesting things in their lives and different tricks and tools. Because, like, like we said, you don't just have to write it down. You don't just have to look at pictures. Yeah. There's so many different things. You can write a song about it, write a poem. Of course. You can <laughs> write the poem, You of can course. even do it through fashion. Yeah. Like, like, you can dress the part of how you want to... Of be course. of the person you want to be in the future so there's literally so many different outlets and so yeah just read more about it learn more about it and listen to us <laughs> li listen to us we're the pros <laughs> but yeah just talk about it with your friends and yeah you should yeah it's so fun because it's so fun to hear like like even if you don't like use the yeah. phrasing manifesting or law of attraction or attracting things into your life just hearing about like coincidences that happen yeah. like people will be like oh I really wanted this one this one outfit and mm -hmm. I found it in the thrift store and I was like that's actually <laughs> manifesting you so. can also be delusional with your friends <laughs> like yeah last night I, w I went to this place and everything but you weren't <laughs> oh <laughs> not telling lies don't like, tell lies to not telling friends, lies just <laughs> each other as like oh, this yeah. moment we can be delusional mm. and say everything yes so we say everything that we want to mm -hmm. and um, but we know that <laughs> it's not <Yes>. real <laughs> there you go that's a good idea yeah and you uh, have you heard of lucky girl syndrome no i haven't you haven't no it's uh, basically this idea that you think of your to yourself that you're the luckiest person in the world oh. and when you're with your friends like we, we can say we're the likest girls in this world. We're the likest. I'm the <laughs> likest. Uh, everything. And you, then all the luck just comes to you. There you go. Yeah. We are the you luckiest girls. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> 
So what are some things you're really hoping to manifest in the next few months or the yeah. next year? Is well, there anything you really thing. want to manifest? I'm not sure. I think everything. Everything. <laughs> every travel, every... Um, my style, mm -hmm. like you said. Um, my house. Because <laughs> I live with my parents. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I want to. Yeah, I, I mean everything. Good. Uh, everything. What is yours? What is your uh, plan? I have a lot of very specific ones. Yeah? I really... Well, right now I'm working... As an intern in graphic design, I'm really excited to get a full-time graphic design job. Mm -hmm. That is something I'm really looking forward to. Um, I would really love to manifest living on my own somewhere. Because yeah. <laughs> in Hawaii, I was living with 10 girls mm -hmm. in a really small apartment. So I really would love to manifest just experiencing living on my own for yeah. a bit without roommates um and yeah just better fashion i'm excited to you know get new clothes at the thrift store and <laughs> and just become someone that is more active and outgoing mm -hmm. and I know. unafraid to try anything so you shouldn't be no. <laughs> afraid i mean mm -mm. you should want it all and yes. just receiving it receive <laughs> it receive it yes <laughs> yes i think that's all yeah i think we covered all the things yeah. so yeah if I you guys want to manifest anything just <laughs> use our three steps yeah of course and yeah i think it was helpful mm -hmm. and you should comment everything that you comment. want to ask subscribe yes. <laughs> subscribe yeah follow us on instagram <laughs> <laughs> I think that's all. That's what that was the episode. Thanks for listening yeah. and we'll see you guys next week. <laughs> Bye. Bye.